tomorrow. Uh oh, it's the five oh. Oh no, five oh. Can't go too slow. If you go too slow, that's suspicious. Then they can't help but assume you're on some sort of colotopins. <laughs> See, I have the habit of swerving. And like, I don't drink or do drugs anymore, but I'm still a woman, so, you know. We're a bad driver by default. There's cashew butter all over my steering wheel. <laughs> you, I have no idea that putting like any kind of peanut butter on an apple is like the best thing in the world. I have no idea. It's like you learn new things every day, you know? I wonder how many people get turned on by like really disgusting shit that Amy Gross does. Cause when I used to take a dump on my first channel, Aimless, you know why I did that, right? Cause everybody's taking a dump on the internet. That's like all they do is take a dump. So I just wanted to discuss people. I wanted to discuss people as much as the culture discussed me. But unfortunately there were some people that were not disgusted. They were uh, they were enthralled. They had a boner. It's weird. It's really, really weird, dude. I mean, whatever, I'm not judging you, I'm just saying it's weird. But, you know, I can't get mad that that was the reaction I got because, like, I should have expected, like, some people to be into that sort of thing. You know, I dated a guy that was into that sort of thing. And yes, I totally took a dump on his chest. Why did you do this, Amy? That's disgusting. Because I loved him, okay? And I didn't want to have sex with him. <laughs> so the next best thing was me taking a dump on his trust. That's a funny story, though. That's a really funny story. And it's really ironic, considering the fact that I used to date a guy way back in the day who was like, terrified of people matter and it wasn't just like a thing where like oh well I hate it when girls talk about that because girls don't poop you know like one of those like I don't live in reality dudes um like he was just disgusted by it in general I understand like poop is gross it smells bad it sounds kind of nasty when it's coming out of your asshole Unless it's one of those glorious no wipers. Uh, but, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about when that poop just like falls out of your ass and it's just such a beautiful experience. It's just like euphoric. It's euphoric. It's like the complete opposite of like, you know, that really painful shit where like, you're like shitting all day. It's the worst. And you think it's over, but it's not. Yeah, I mean, there are people that would seriously get turned on by that. It was me talking about poop falling out of my ass. They would get turned on by that. It was weird. It was fucking weird. But, you know, I can't knock that. 
like whatever people are into. Hey, at least at least you're not into kids. That's good. You know. So if anybody knocks you for that, you know, like if if you're into fecal matter and somebody's like, that's that's really disgusting. Be like, look, you watch Netflix, don't you? Yeah. You watch Netflix. Netflix is totally supportive of pedos. So so maybe 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 cease the judgment, shall we? Cease the judgment cuz um Yeah, everybody's a little weird. But there's there's some there's some uh uh weird stuff that people are into that, that's really perverted and disgusting and totally immoral and unethical and you'll burn in hell for it. I don't think that you're going to burn in hell because you're into fecal matter. I I think that that uh, just means that you probably have a lot of self-loathing. 